and we're rolling. And I'm doing some interviews on communism in America and the ideals of communism and getting into interracial race mixing, uh, black men, white women, white women, black men, black men, and other races included. Now, my inspiration for this originally was a Myron Fagan Illuminati album. Myron Fagan went in to race mixing in America, communism, and I really like the subject because it's very interesting. And the idea is with an advertisement, they make advertisement for different races to be together. And the concept behind race mi mixing that Myron Fagan was talking about was about how they wanted to de-emasculize white men and make white men look smaller and weaker. And a lot of white women, from my research I've been doing on communism and race mixing, and you can go, like, you can actually go to white extremist websites and the white Aryan Brotherhood, and they're saying the same thing. They're saying that, like, David Duke uh, did a research thing on it, and David Duke was, like, in the Ku Klux Klan and all this stuff, and David Duke was talking about how white men have an obsession with watching uh, interracial porn. White men have an obsession with watching younger white girls with black men having sex. And <clears throat> I was doing research on that, on communism and on race mixing. And I was talking about how they want to de-emasculize white men and take their guns away. And the communists are like race mixing with their daughters, the advertisement, black and white, way more than what it used to be. <clears throat> and that's like a research subject that I heard very few people speak on it. And so I originally presented my research like many years ago on this topic. Like I used to research Nazism, communism, all sorts of subjects. And through like street theater and mimicking, you know, that like I actually like, if, you know, take a break for a second. Okay, you got that in. Now look at now look at the subject of gang stalking, communism, street theater, the mirroring and all that stuff within the themes of what you call uh, street theater through contract stalkers and stuff. They were mirroring that. They were mimicking that stuff. So they were actually using white girls and black guys and using white men's daughters and wives and all this stuff. And so if you were following me back when I was talking about gang stock and interracial stuff, that's what was going on. But originally I'm a researcher who was doing research on communism in the Soviet Union and interracial race mixing. So we're going to have some interviews on that. And that will, and we're going to go into... Uh, film and movies. There, there was movies in the Soviet Union that portrayed white men, I mean white women with black men, white women with black men, and white men with black women. And you see that in America. And of course, there's a close connection between the filmmakers and Hollywood, this, and, and, and the, the Hollywood, the Soviet Union connection in the early 1900s. The same filmmakers in the Soviet Union were the same filmmakers in Hollywood. So there's a close connection to that. And so... And so that's what that's about.